Varsity Club, welcome back to another classic. The Kodiaks have set the record for most wins in the franchise history with 53 wins in the year, and it's playoff time. Sacramento, you're going down. Obviously with the playoffs, we've had a short time rotation from 11 to 10, and it's possible the deeper we get, we go down to nine. But one thing I can tell you is that Bo Bo is part of that rotation. He has earned his spot. He has battled all season long. He has been clutch. He has been important on defense and offense, and really he just deserves the minutes right now. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous for our team. We have such a young roster. We have some veterans in J.R. Smith and Dwight Howard who probably aren't the best mentors to have for a playoff team but it is what it is these guys are ready to go they're young they're talented and they're ready to see what they can do so for our rotation again the starting lineup will stay the same as what it's been for a while rj hampton von diggins on anobi Toppin, and sabonis that's been a really good core and they played extremely well together we have cam johns as our sixth man Ty, Tyus Jones coming off the bench. He's been incredible as our backup point guard. Uh, Aaron Neesmith. We have Bo Bo as our ninth guy. And then 10th, we're going to keep Desmond Bain in there because he's honestly played pretty well too. Now, some things to note really quickly. Stan Morton is not getting minutes, but I think he'll find himself in the game here and there. Uh, Dwight Howard won't be getting any minutes as well. He's there to sort of as a backup or emergency if we need somebody to come in for foul trouble. Kenya Martin Jr., though, I want to bring him in and see what he potentially do. He's been in the G League all season long. He hasn't been happy. I want to give him an opportunity to postseason to see what he can actually do out there on the floor. We got a home playoff game that's unreal to me. The fact that we're two seasons in, we found ourselves to get to 50 wins. I mean, there's some luck that was gotten getting involved for sure. We've had a lot of moving pieces, but this team has played incredibly well, and we found our identity for the most part. RJ's going to have a really tough matchup today going against De'Aaron Fox. It's not a guy I think he can really kill, but I think he can do well enough. His Sabonis has to be big today. Against Bagley, he's got to show up. Bagley's going to be really tough for Sabonis, especially on defense, but he's playing pretty solid there. RJ's been running the break nonstop. I want him to chill a little bit. Slow it up some. Diggins ready to go. They're playing pretty far off. I mean, he's going to let one fly. That one's going to be off. Look at RJ inside. That was, okay, we should have kicked that out. Sacramento's got a pretty early lead here. Only three points, though. Again, nothing to panic about. Diggins posting up for the mid-range. I like that look for him, and it's wide open for money. Oscar Stokes has been a sensational rookie for Sacramento. He's one of the big reasons why they are where they are right now. Again, the 60 for Sacramento is not a place a lot of people really thought they'd ultimately be. So bonus, you got to be in there playing better D, though. RJ taking his time, trailing in right behind. I like that move a lot. That's going to be two more for him. Nice little lead for the team. Obol's in as well as Neesmith and most of our backups at the moment. Our second unit, though, has been incredible so far this year. I've been really happy with how they played. Rodgers is going to pull one. That was going to go out. But look at that by Azabuki. Puts it down for the big fella. Jerry Jones out here. Desmond Bain. We've updated his equipment really quick. He's got his headband on. That he's rocking in real life right now. Tyus Jones. See what he can do. He sees Bobo stretch out to the short corner. Bobo is going to pull that one in and drop seven in the first quarter for Bobo. You love to see that. I can't lie, man. This Kings team has so much talent. Halliburton, De'Aaron Fox. They got Oscar Stokes. I mean, there's a lot to love if you're a Sacramento fan right now. Desmond Bain, though, out here running the break. He's got Bobo going up top, and Bobo is nine. Desmond Bain to Bobo in the first quarter is a connection I didn't see coming. Look at Bobo. Just look at Bobo shine. Tyce Jones got Desmond Bain pulling up for an odd little mid-range jump shot. I don't think he really thought the defense was going to be there. Four-point lead here in the second quarter. Everybody's playing good. No one's playing too crazy right now, which you got to love. RJ Hampton beat him off the break there. Nice little flip, but that's not going to count. Buddy's going to the line to shoot two here. First foul of the game on Buddy Hill. Trying to extend that lead to six points. RJ's first free throw. It's going to rattle out. We got to work on that. Again, he's young. Free throws aren't a priority for him right now. Other parts of this game I care about a little bit more, but he's got to be about a 75, 80% shooter from the line by next season, in my opinion. Jabari Parker in the game. Ooh, oh, that's got to be offensive. Thank you. Von Diggins, only two points in today's game. No, I was expecting for him. I expected a big game, and that's what I'm talking about. Way to go to the rack and dunk right on him. Two hands, so you can be extra strong and make sure it goes in. RJ Hampton's playing pretty good defense on Fox so far. Fox, though, significantly faster and gets to the bucket for an easy shot. RJ getting the offense going. He's going right by him. I like it. I like it. It's a bonus. You got to get that rebound, but even more important, RJ has got to hit those shots. He's getting to the bucket a lot right now, but he's not able to drill that one. Speaking of drilling, though, Oscar Stokes, he's got one for three. That's eight points now for Stokes. He's been a vital part for what they're doing today. Diggins again, taking his time. Also, bonus is going to roll a little bit quicker, but he did not. Diggins again, a mismatch on heel, in my opinion. 
We're struggling. We're letting RJ throw up a prayer. Probably not our best decision there at all. Fox out here in transition. Great defense. Switching over, but again, we're leaving Stokes wide open. He's got 10 now. Tie ball game. Got to do better. There we go. The double kick out. Ooh, that's a crazy step back for our guy. Nice rebound by Sabonis. Easy left-handed flush for eight on him. No one's really stepped out for us right now. I mean, Fox is killing it for them. He's got double digits. Stokes has double digits as well. Bagley, he's about to get double digits. That's whoa, four fouls on Diggins. Why was he in the game? Get him out of here. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to put Diggins in the game in the first half with three fouls, let alone, or excuse me, two fouls, let alone three, but He's gone till late in the third quarter right now. Four fouls already for him? That's terrible. That's one of our best scorers, one of our most dynamic players, and he's not going to be in the game for an incredibly long time. I don't know how that could happen. Ty Jones running the break. He's got Desmond Bain pulling a three. That's a quick release, and that one's going to go in. Bain's been good today so far. First half's almost to an end. Bain has played extremely well. Six points, four rebounds, two assists. One of those, again, a big one. To our boy Bo Bo, a nice little lefty off the right hand side of the glass, and that drops in to extend our lead to four. Oh no, we left Halliburton wide open and he airballed it. Luckily for them, as Abuki gets the rebound, and puts it in, but an airball from Tyrese Halliburton? The heck is going on with him? 22 seconds here on the clock. Taking our time. We can get a good play here. I want to get a good shot. I want to try to extend our lead to four, if at all possible, going into the second half. Switching it over. A screen here from Bobo. I like this. And that's a short. He's going to get 14 in the first half for Bobo with three rebounds. I mean, you talk about a guy that can dominate. It's him. Him and Sabonis have been a great tandem to have in. I mean, I think Sabonis, again, has been a great starter. But Bobo right now is coming for those minutes. And I'd be crazy if I didn't start giving him more. Here in the third quarter, we got a tie ball game again. I thought we were going to have a good chance to blow them out. I was completely incorrect. Sacramento came to play. I do think having Diggins out for a large part of today's game is definitely impacting us. I really thought he was going to be playing 30 plus minutes tonight, but that may not be the case. They're giving him a lot of room and not respecting him at all. Wow. Don't let him get hot. It's going to be a problem. It's a bonus again. Not a great defender and Bagley taking advantage of him again. It might be time for Bobo to start coming in a little bit more early. Bobo was still our leading scorer with 14 right now. RJ's had a slower game. Again, Fox is no slouch. He's been playing great against him. On Diggins gets it back out here. RJ moving around. Oh, he had him. Thank no, you. that's a terrible pass. Sacramento nursing a one point lead. On Anobi trying to help there a little bit. Topping his loss on defense. Don't tell me Von Diggins got another reach in foul. What are you doing, Von? That's five. I don't know what logic our coaching staff is having, but having Von Diggins in as much as they've had him has been insane. Like, I'm, I'm generally blown away. And blown away is our defense right now because they are getting killed by Fox. Three point deficit right now. We got Vaughn Diggins in for probably his last possession. As soon as the next dead ball hits, he's out of here. Or that'll happen. Here we are. An eight point deficit now. Vaughn Diggins still in the game, but honestly, we've chosen to keep him in just because we need the offensive firepower. At this rate, I don't imagine he's going to stay in the game long term. He's probably going to foul out within the next couple of minutes but look I'd rather have him in here right now than not have him in Bobo playing defense down on Bagley Bagley blocked by Bobo Bobo's gonna get that I like it I like it Tyce Jones he's got Cam Johnson who's not known for great plays but you know what we'll take that Cam Johnson's had a much reduced role so I gotta give him props for sort of taking that and not being a locker room issue six points after that free throw averaging 12 in the season that's gonna give him seven again with our guy Diggins going to be out soon, we're going to need him to put up some points too. Buddy Heal's going to pull up. Cam Johnson late on the rotation. Doesn't matter though. He's still going to miss that one. Neesmith running it up. Oh no, we did not want to throw that one out. Let's get it back to Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones looking for the Bobo screen. Oh my God, we're risking every pass in the world. Let's get something going for Vaughn. Vaughn going baseline. That uh, should be okay. They're called a shooting foul. I was expecting or hoping for goaltending, but look, the lead is three for Sacramento. We can cut it to one here. If Von Diggins comes through in the clutch, he's got 15 of four for 10 shooting again. The nerves, I think, are definitely there for him. 
We've been trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but the fouls have just been terrible. Pick it up in the fourth, five minutes left. Von Diggins is somehow still in the game. This man's been playing with five fouls, so it feels like an absolute eternity. He's got Buddy Heald on his ropes. He's going to throw one up. He's going to miss it, though. No way Harris hits that. Great closeout defense by Cam Johnson. You don't say that a lot, but that absolutely was. RJ, 9-5-5. Five five. Looking for the screen from Sabonis. Sabonis a little late on that one. Von Diggins feeling it, though. And Von Diggins again. Another three-pointer from him. He has been on fire tonight despite the dumb plays on defense. Unreal. Great pass from RJ. I mean, you got to absolutely thread the needle on that one. Sabonis, though, gets a foul here on Harris that honestly is not exactly ideal. And Gary Harris is eight so far tonight, trying to make it nine and ten on the free throws. He gets nine right there. This is up again. That one drops as well. So now the lead has been cut to five points. Sabonis is 20 on tonight's game. It's been a quiet 20 for him. Gary Harris, a good defender. Von Diggins also says, I'm a better offensive player, even though he missed that one. Under three to go now. Both teams have went a little cold offensively. Box up top for Sacramento, hands it off to Harris. Harris has Neesmith on him again. Not our best defender, but we'll see what he can do. Halliburton already airballed a major shot. Surprise when I go into Diggins a little bit more again with all the fouls that he has it would make sense to sort of make him play on a drive and see what he can do Diggins reaches in on that play They're Slow to close out and they hit that one. It's a long two. We call a timeout because it's a one-point game now got a one-point game It's time to step it up. Oh, this is so close. We don't want to risk it. We don't want to risk it We got to chill nice double screen being set here Vaughn going in that's close to being blocked great defense by healed at the end but it wasn't good enough three-point game now Sacramento knows they need some of the big they don't need three here but they know they got to make smart plays Bobo's the game to help out on defense as well as Anunobi who was sitting on the bench for a little bit Fox pulls up for a wide open three he's gonna shank that one RJ Hampton pushing the tempo a little bit he's gonna slow it down don't want to force it too much but again running the offense through Vaughn Diggins tonight has been really really good Double screen, Vaughn pulls up, passes it out. That's a bad decision. However, they're going to end up getting the steal immediately. But he healed, trying to get something going to transition. Again, Vaughn cannot go for a steal attempt at all tonight. If he does, he's got to be super precise. He was going in. That's a great block by Bo Bo, but they call a foul. That's all ball, ref. Big free throws here for Buddy, whose team's down three. And in two here would be major. First is going to drop in. He was looking to get the second one. That one goes in as well. Ball don't lie. RJ has not scored in double figures for the first time in a long time tonight. Getting it to Diggins. He's going to pull a three. That looked green to me, but it's not going to be. He shanks that one. I'm surprised he's still in the game. Despite all the foul trouble, he's still here. We left Buddy Hill wide open, which is a or recipe for disaster, and it is. They the lead by two now. Two-point game. RJ trying to get to the bucket. He's got an opportunity here. He goes in. We need the and one for sure. We need both free throws here, RJ. Three-point play would have been great. We got to get two of the old-fashioned one here. RJ's catching his breath in the line. Nine points, six assists, five rebounds. It's not terrible, but by RJ's standards, we were hoping for more. Arena gets dead silent. Person's a green. We'll take it. Ten points tonight for him. Back in double digits. He's feeling a little confident. He's like, all right, uh, you can dab me up. One-point game. Sacramento's up. This one's going to rim out. Still a one-point game. De'Aaron Fox is trying to cherry pick a little bit. Von Diggins still unhealed. Cannot give up a three right now. That's the big thing. Bagley's wide open. We close out on the three. That's great. What a rebound. RJ in transition. He's going to try to get right by De'Aaron Fox. That's close. Fox now has three fouls. RJ says, look, I missed one earlier. Let me get both right here. Fox absolutely couldn't believe that one. He knows that was a dumb decision. But look, great decision by RJ to attack in transition. He had him on his heels and knew that he could get a chance to go back to the line and right his wrongs. First is going to be beautiful. That one rims in. Tie ball game. A chance for a one point lead here. Clutch. Gotta love that ice in the young man's veins. Sacramento calls a timeout. We have a one point lead with 46 seconds left. Oh no, we left him wide open. Great close out by Diggins. Fox is going to miss that one. We want to get it out of Bobo's hands. Fox is going to close out. It's a one point game. Give it back to RJ. You got the screen from top, and RJ's driving right in at him. That is going to be beautiful. RJ's been clutch. I think he scored our last like five points right now. This is a big moment. 28 seconds left. If they don't hit a shot here, they don't have to go for a three. They can go for a two if they want and play the foul game. Eel does just exact. 
we're gonna lose diggins we didn't have to contest it but i'd rather them not be guaranteed the points Field goes up that one's gonna go in he's got his next one that one goes in as well so they're only down a single point right now get it to rj they're gonna immediately foul look if there's one guy i'm gonna trust right now it's rj hampton we've got a one point game we can be okay he has been clutch he's done this all season long in the moments i want it on his shoulders first one okay i might be regretting that slightly gotta hit one here okay he got us one it's a two-point game a three here is going to be deadly they're letting heel bring the ball up got bane on him again not diggins bane's not a bad defender at all bane's been strong on healed he was going to throw one up he's going to miss that one get it back to rj rj's going to get it we're going back to the line five seconds left buddy heel now has five fouls he shanked a major play rj can seal this game here get both free throws we're walking out of here with a w he gets the first one at worst we're getting a tie rj back to the line everyone's standing crowd gets incredibly quiet takes a deep breath we're gonna walk out of here with the w barring something incredibly ridiculous rj hampton has single-handedly helped us seal it at the end of the game he d's it one fox fox was up a prayer that was that one's in but it doesn't matter we are going to get our first playoff victory in team history we went out here we had a tough game we took game one protect your home court and we did just that that was a major victory for our team in a game that was way closer than I thought it would have been. But Sacramento's a good team. It shows why they're the sixth seed out there. Von Diggins played one of the worst games he's had from a defensive perspective. Did not shoot well at all, but he was clutch from the line. He had a couple of big threes for us, and I'll take that. 22 points, two rebounds, two assists. It's a bonus with a nice double-double of 20 and 10. RJ Hampton came in clutch in the fourth quarter with 17, 5, and 6. Only one turnover for him as well. 7 to 10 from the line. I'll take that all the time. Talk about Bowl Bowl. Bull Bull, I believe, had 14 in the first half. He never scored again with him. We got to change that up because he was instrumental in our comeback, especially defensively out there with two big blocks tonight. You got to get him more involved. Bain stepped up big with Diggins being in foul trouble all tonight. 10 and 4. Ty Jones was solid. I will take the effort we got tonight. Great team victory. And not to shortchange Sacramento, 24, 5, and 9 from De'Aaron Fox. Bagley at 22 and 8. Buddy healed. Honestly, he struggled a little bit out there, but he did take at least some close attempts. Oscar Soaks, they had going for a long time, but they went away from him, kind of like we went away from Bowl Bowl, and it didn't work out for him. We got a new game and an opportunity to go up 2-0 here against Sacramento. I'm going to take Von Diggins all game long. That's the Von Diggins I wanted to see in game one. Sacramento, though, put a little bit of pressure on us. Buddy Heald struggling. Von... That's a Euro that probably didn't need to be a Euro. It could have been a straight-up attempt. Oh, no. We're leaving him open again. Close out late in the corner. Fox, though, not a knockdown shooter. He's going to miss that one, luckily for us. RJ, nice little stop and go. Gets to the hoop. They're not going to give him the foul on that one. Look at him hustling, though. Instead of going back up like he did last game, he takes his time. Gets it back out. Diggins has something here. Kicks it over to Sabonis. Sabonis with the lefty, and that one's going to drop for his first points of the game. Bagley had a field day with Sabonis. Again, I think we got to make sure we switch in Bobo enough tonight so that he can't just have his way like he did last game. Crazy little turnaround looking like Tim Duncan on that play. Sacramento's lead is now up to seven points. Not exactly ideal, but Ty Jones says, I don't care about your lead. I'm going to get a steal and one of the sneakiest defenders in the league. First points for him comes off a big defensive play. Five-point game. Ty Jones again getting the offense going. I can't say enough how much important or how important it is to have a backup point guard as good as him. Oh, that's a bad pass by Cam Johnson. Probably shouldn't have forced that one. Halliburton trying to get it going in transition. Great stop by Tyus Jones to get him to set the offense back up a little bit and slow it down. We're doing a lot better in the half court than we have been. As the Buki has it up top, gets it out of Harris. Gary Harris pulls up a crazy three. That one's going to be off the rim. Right into Tyus Jones' hand. We're try to stretch it a little bit. Ty Jones sees Neesmith have it. Get it right back out. Bowl, bowl. Sets the high screen. We got him on a lob potentially, but it's miscommunication and a bad turnover again. Stokes with a nice move. It's a $20 move and a 10 cent finish. Doesn't matter how nice the move is. It doesn't go in. No one really cares about it. RJ is stopping going all over these dudes right now. OJ or OB topping. Didn't look good, but it, it dropped. I kind of like this matchup of Ananobi or OG Ananobi on uh, Oscar Stokes. He's one of our best defenders again. He's not killing it offensively, but he's a lockdown defender and he's doing his job out there. 
Back out here to Fox. Shot clock winding down. Got to imagine the Illivized 3 is coming up. We got two defenders in his face, but it doesn't matter. He's feeling it. Sacramento again has the lead. RJ slowing it down. Gets a screen from Von Diggins this time. Von's going to roll out. Spot up. Pulls up a 3 that looks good to me, but doesn't matter it's out we haven't really gotten diggins as evolved as we probably should i mean he was on fire early we're trying to get him going with some threes again threes we probably shouldn't be shooting with him but we got to get something going for him rj's having another really slow start here in the first half only two points he's got four rebounds marvin bagley though feeling it even though that one doesn't drop he's had a really good first half for them diggins in transition it's one of the best places to get him going usually He's trying to force a little bit. We're going to kick it out the top, and he's probably a little bit further out than what we want him to be. I like this. Obi Toppin. Look, he's got nine points right now. He's got four fouls on Oscar Stokes. Just like Diggins, that's not good news for his team. First one from Toppin. He's been good from the line so far. That one's going to drop again. He can tie it up right here if he gets a clutch one to go in. He's going to get that a drop. 11 for him, 44, everybody. Two minutes left here in the first half. One point game. I like Bane in the corner. Cam Johnson, you got to roll quick on that one. Azubuki was ready for him. Neesmith's going to pull a three. That looks good. That was not going to go in. Bobo has the board. Offensively, we're killing on the boards. Back up top. I like Bobo here. Strong arm of Bobo. Expose him. Expose him, Bobo. You only got three points. I want you to get double digits again. Bobo trying to get us to take the lead. First one, looking like money. That's four points for him with six rebounds to go with that. Second one, not so much. Still a one-point game. Sacramento again playing incredibly well in game number two as well. They are no fluke. Desmond Bain on the curl. Look good, just didn't drop for us. Got time to take the lead back. We just got to play smart. Bain running the offense. He's got Gary Harris on him. Doesn't matter. Gary Harris looking a little slow-footed. That's a big block, but they call the foul on Gary Harris. So as the bookie looks... Pretty, pretty unhappy with that. Bane only three tonight. Trying to make it four. He does. Again, not a guy that's going to drop an insane amount of points for you, but he's one of those guys we can definitely count on on our second unit to be clutch. He gets his fifth point of the night on that one. Time's winding down. Got about 10 seconds left in the game. Gary Harris trying to hold for the last possession. A couple guys moving. Say like Halliburton to the left-hand side. Big screen coming up. Bane playing it well. Plays great defense there all around. They're going to miss that one. So going into halftime, it's a one-point game. Good news, though. It's in our favor. Kicking the second half off, we know we've got to be more aggressive, especially with RJ. Diggins has got to get going again. Six points for him. Wouldn't call that ideal. Can he get nine right here? Close, but again, no cigar. Box going down to Bagley. We've got Obi Toppin on him. Obi Toppin playing great D. Things you don't say a lot. Getting it to Diggins in the corner. Got that man looking. That's got to be a foul rep. Thank you. We can't get the hoop, but we do get the harm. Diggins again at the line. Need to get something to go in. At this point for him, he's struggling. Nothing's going in the bucket for him. You got to get a free throw to go in or a layup. One of those two. You need to go in so you can just feel better. But it's not looking good for him. Top has played so good so far. 11 for him in the first half. He's been great defensively as you guys have seen so far, especially in that last possession. We're getting it any way we possibly can. And if it's from Obi Toppin, I don't care. I just need our team to make sure we get this W right now. RJ in transition. Ooh, could have been a charge almost. Trying to work his way around. RJ's going to work through. Rise up, young fella. We're down bad. I mean, RJ had a great point there, but then since then it's been literally nothing for us. Bobo exposed them. No. As you can see, we're missing anything and everything. And Sacramento's on fire. They got an 11-point lead. They're largest of the game right now. We got to find a way to turn it around or call a timeout sometime soon. Timeout's coming right now. That's not good. If we're going to come back in this game, especially down 13 right now, it's going to come from defense. So defense, step up. We need you right now. Bagley up top again. Obi Toppin again has been, for the most part, pretty good against him. I don't love that. Great rotation there. Our big focus right now is no threes. If they're going to kill us, they're going to kill us inside. And I'll be okay with that because I think we can hit some shots outside and come back soon. Diggins again, looking to get it going. Need a screen. Cam Johnson, not the greatest screener of all time, but Diggins. That's what he needs to see. Something go into the bucket. It's been way too long for him. It's about time one drops. Great defense again by Obi Toppin. Bagley going up. Great contest. We need Bobo in the game. Obi Top is coming out. Bobo's coming in. 
Third quarter's winding down. We've cut the lead to eight points. It's been tough. We're grinding. We're trying to do our best. Tyus Jones trying to lock up Halliburton. He's getting some great plays here. Bagley is on fire. We need Bo Bo and him or else it's going to be a wrap. Tyus Jones trying to get us one last bucket. He's going to pull. That's as close as it'll possibly get. Hits every part of the rim but the bottom. 10-point game in the fourth quarter. Defense, this one's on you. Things aren't looking overly great here in the fourth quarter, though. As you can tell, we aren't exactly where we want to be. Diggins trying to get to the bucket. I mean, that looks like some sort of contact, but we are not getting the home cook treatment tonight. We left Fox wide open. I'm hoping he doesn't hit it. Looking like Von Diggins on that. Every part of the rim but the bottom. Speaking of Diggins, nice little hezzy there. Not going to do anything with it again. He struggled all night. Got a little bit of respect there in that step. Nothing. We're fighting an uphill battle right now. Defense non-existent. They're killing us right now. Fox has been having a great game. Bagley's had a, a heck of a game, but he healed is actually killing us too. No matter what we do, it has been a struggle. Healed coming off a nice curl all game long. RJ trying to drive. He's got a lane. We'll take the two, but six, five and four for him. Not going to work. We're shooting 38% from the field tonight. Well, they're shooting 54%. It has been one of those games. That's absolutely sure. It's a bonus. Bates on that one. Stokes looking like a veteran on that play. The lead feels, I mean, pretty insurmountable right now. We're trying, but it's not looking good. Finally, we get a green release. Diggins, where has that been? I think a big issue we're having as well is that with RJ not really scoring offensively, we're losing a lot of our real production we've had. He hasn't really gotten many threes. He hasn't got an opportunity to really drive in because their bigs have been super agile in playing, and Sabonis has just got his feet in quicksand and can't help on any of the dribble drives. So when your offense is playing bad and can't get the production, and your defense is non-existent, it's going to be a tough one. Anthony again trying to drive in. We'll take the foul. It's the first one of De'Aaron Fox. Think about that. First foul and Fox comes in two minutes left in the fourth. So we're going to walk out of our home court, splitting the series in 1-1. Sacramento stole one at our place. That's unfortunate. We got to go to Sacramento and get one back from them, preferably game three, because how we play tonight, we can never play like that again in these playoffs if we want to make a deep run. So on our side, again, not a lot of production. We had 19-11-1 and one with three blocks from Sabonis. So not bad defense, but again, he's so slow-footed that the dribble drives are killing us. Diggins at 18, 2, and 6. Shot 7 for 26 tonight. 4 for 15 from 3. You're seeing the problem right there. Cam Johnson's had 16 and 3. Obi Toppin at 13 and 6 with some pretty good defense out there. Neesmith had 12. Hampton had 11, 6, and 5. We've got to get more from Bobo. We've got to get him more involved. I know we've been saying that right now. He had 5 offensive rebounds tonight. Uji Ananobi cannot play this poorly. I know he's not an offensive guy for us right now. But to have our starter get 3 points. It's less than ideal. And a look at their side. I mean, they had four guys scored 20 plus points tonight. Buddy Hill did 25 and six. Oscar Stokes did 25, five and four. Bagley had 24 and 11. He was barbecue chicken our defense all night long. Fox had 25 and 19. 19 assists. Our guards got to put more pressure on him. We got to make sure our bigs are doing better. And we just can't allow this to happen ever again. To give you an update on where teams are or how teams are playing ultimately in the playoffs so far, San Antonio is up 1-0 against Dallas. New Orleans is up 1-0 against Denver. We're tied obviously 1-1 with Sacramento. Phoenix is up 1-0 against Houston. Uh, Brooklyn is up 1-0 against Washington. Orlando is up two games to none to Boston. It's a 1-1 tie for Toronto and Indiana. And Atlanta is up 1-0 despite not having Trey Young. They're up in the series. So game one showed resiliency, but a bit of a struggle on offense and defense. In game two, they really figured us out. So we get to go back to the drawing board in games three and four and figure out how the heck we can stop them and just put the ball in the bucket. This is part of the problem when you have a lot of young guys. Some of them are going to understand the moment and take advantage of it. And sometimes they're not going to know what the heck they're doing and rely on veterans. Our problem is... Our veterans haven't really been there. We don't really have many of them to rely on. We'll figure out how to get Bo Bo going a little bit more. Maybe we start him and put some bonus off the bench or do something of that nature. But something has to jumpstart this offense because the way our defense is playing, we need a whole lot of points out there to win. 